Hello boys and girls. The story that we're going to be reading today is called The Dot and it is written by Peter H. Reynolds. The Dot. It's very nice handwriting. The Dot. Art class was over. Bavashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot, the blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti's, Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots and many colors. That's right. When you mix blue and yellow, you get green. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. She painted around. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Do you see all the different ways Vashti made dots? She made them in different sizes, different colors. In some she made one dot, in some she made four dots. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy squiggle, and then she said, Hmm, what do you think she's going to say? Please sign it. Just like her art teacher told her. After Vashti did one dot, her teacher told her to sign her artwork. And 
The end, friends. I hope you all enjoyed story time. But now I have a few questions for you. When Vashti grabs a marker and jabs at the paper, she is really angry. Why do you think she was angry? And when her teacher framed her artwork, remember when she framed it in that gold framework? And when she hung her picture on the wall, how did that make Vashti feel? Post Bye, friends.